what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Former Mexico President Vicente Fox was on The Breakfast Club this morning, and he talked about a variety of issues, including America's economy, racism, Donald Trump, Oprah Winfrey. He also talked about drugs when El Chapo's name came up. He says that El Chapo worked for a drug cartel here in the United States and that crime is headquartered in the United States. Not many of us that have a couple of brain cells, we already knew that. Some people are in denial, but the more people speak up, the more access that we have to information, the more the information gets out there and the more the truth is revealed. Now, everybody knows that America has had a hand in the drug business from day one, starting with the peace pipe. It's always been like that. But it's amazing how people fall for the banana in the tailpipe, always thinking that when they see law enforcement out there, so-called stopping the people with the drugs, that they're doing a service to the people. They're out there serving and protecting Man, they're out there doing drugs themselves, taking the drugs, reselling the drugs, and oftentimes they're the ones putting the drugs on the streets. You wonder why you can't get rid of the drug problem in America. It's quite simple. People who work in governmental agencies, people who are supposed to be protecting the borders, they are the ones who are letting them in. They're, they're taking the drugs from the other side. They're giving drug dealers free passage to move around. Certain ones, of course. Every now and then, they got to bust one to put on the front, make it look like they're doing something, make it look like the plan is working out. Every now and then, they got to throw us something. But mainly, they're in on it. It's a fix. Man, they could put, we got like 300,000 people in them, I mean, 300 million people in America. They could put, they could put a law enforcement, a drug enforcement agent on every single person in America, including the babies. And you still have a problem with drugs because the people who are in the position who are supposed to be fighting the so-called mythical drug war. They're involved in the drug war. They're benefiting from the drug war. Let's stop faking. It's time to stop faking. Let's stop acting like we don't know that America is fueled by drugs, guns, crime, alcohol, and violence. Let's stop acting like that's not the case. Are y'all always talking about keep it real? People love to say keep it real. The minute you keep it real, they get pissed off at you. They mad. The minute when you keep it real and you say something that they don't agree with, they lose their mind and start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is just the truth, man. I wish it wasn't like that. I wish it was, it was just all, it was all beautiful. I wish that you didn't have police officers out there who put on a gun and a badge and do traffic stops and plant drugs on people, take their drugs and use them, plant, put bogus cases on people, kick people doors in, rob them. You know, it's a lot of a lot of times when drug dealers get killed, it ain't other drug dealers. It ain't jack boys that's doing it. It's police officers that's killing them. This is the truth, man. Some of y'all want to live in a fantasy world. Y'all want to act like, oh, just please don't tell me what the truth is. Just, oh, just 
Just shield me, protect me. I don't want to hear the truth. Just throw up the smoke screens. I'll buy it. Just whatever you do, don't let me know what the truth is. Because see, once you know the truth, then you would be obligated to do something about it. You know, you would be at least morally obligated, if you have any. You would be morally obligated to do something about it, right? To speak on it, at least speak up. Right. Speak out against it or something. But many people don't want to do that. They just want to act like everything is beautiful. They want to live a nice, little, comfortable, quiet life. I would like to do that, too, but I just can't do it under these circumstances. So I thought overall that the interview was a good interview. Big ups to the Breakfast Club for bringing the dude. But there's one question I wish they had asked him. I wish they would have asked him about racism toward Afro-Latinos in Mexico. And some of you other countries out there don't get too excited because y'all got some work to do too. I'm talking about you Latin countries. A lot of y'all are racist toward uh, Afro-Latinos. We watching. You got work to do. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?